There was no excuse for this city and this corporation counsel's office to put this family through the pain of a trial. They should have just said, enough. But no, they want to drag us here and have this family. You've seen them. They wept. This mother and her son, her daughter wept. They had to leave the courtroom multiple times because of their emotional distress. So, and that could have been put to rest a long time ago. So I put this at the feet of our progressive mayor, the progressive mayor in New York City who wants to change the way the police operate in the black community. He should come talk to us. He hasn't yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not ever. Since 2012. Have you, have you reached out? They, it says, listen, listen, listen. We have a lawsuit against the city of New York. The city of New York and the mayor included could very easily have said to anyone through a statement or otherwise, this was a tragedy that didn't need to happen. They did that when Ms. Donna was killed. They quickly criticized that sergeant. He's now on facing charges. They've never said anything to this woman. Not a word. It's an outrage. And, and some of the tactics we saw here where they tried to vilify and criticize Mrs. Ba for trying to save her son. Disrespect. It's this outrageous. When I was calling, I was telling them, please, please, my son didn't do nothing wrong. Let me talk to my son. He will open the door because, because the judge claimed me Mohammed don't want to open the door. How can opening door can kill someone in America if you're not to use people as a slave? That's why I stand up. I tell everyone supporting since this one up to today. I thank you people. I hope the future will benefit for Mohammed Dev. I will not see him back, but we'll fight for his legacy. This is not the end. We'll fight for his legacy to protect the future. Here's the bottom line in this case. Mohammed's mother called the 911 because she wanted, she was concerned about her son's mental health. That whether he was suffering from some mental distress, she never got a chance to find out whether he was, because he was killed. Rather than send professionals to help find out whether he was suffering from mental distress, they sent warriors. Mental illness should not be a death sentence. And for Mr. Ball, his mental illness was a death sentence.